no, it was the end times for our last three-eyed wobble dog. And of course, Pavo is trying to get over here. Pavo, I love you, but not right now. This is for the puppies. <laughs> Oh my gosh, there we go, you guys. We just had the last of our three-eyed dogs pass away, which is a blow to the genetic diversity that we have been trying to carry on with here in Wobble Dogs. However, like, what you gonna do? Like, that's that's just how the cookie has crumbled. Sephiroth has even come in to try to go ahead and get his mouth on some of this, but I'm gonna see if I can grab Froglet. Hey, Froglet! I, I have some news for you. Okay, we're gonna follow Froglet. Yes, I'm sorry, little one. That was probably very confusing. Maybe if you eat... Okay, he, he, he knows his job. Little Froglet has been eating from all of the dogs that have passed on since he basically hatched. And I appreciate that because it does help us to go ahead and keep some of the genes going. You don't want to waste that good gut bacteria after all. Uh, but let's see, do I have anybody else who's fresh hatched and out? I don't, other than... Goose, our tiny little goose who is so good at flying. So he's hanging out in our aviary where we're trying to go ahead and train up dogs who are better at flying. Like Celery the fourth or seventh, excuse me, is part of the Celery lineage. Do I have my tree over here? I didn't plant a tree over here. I need to teach these dogs how to dig. Celery, we might be working on digging practice with you in just a second. Whoops, let's clean up that poop. But I need to get more dogs. You don't, what, what do you mean you don't want to do that? What, what do you mean you don't want to do that? Okay, there we go. I was going to say like, what do you mean you don't want to dig? Maybe your legs are a little tangled, but oh, you guys, he can't dig. Oh, wait, 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 there he goes. There he goes. Come on. Come on. I need to train all of the dogs on digging so we can try to get more of the different den patterns. We can go ahead and try to get more of the toys. Good job. Maybe you can come over. Okay, fine. All right. All right. I'm going to have to work on this. <laughs> Because we have some very stubborn dogs who apparently don't want to do their due diligence and help with digging. Uh, also, we need to see if we can get Celery's wings to be a little bit bigger. There we go. Celery. And then I think we might move in Pavo and Sephiroth into the aviary as well, because this entire place is about to be filled with nothing but food to make the winged feathers or the feather wings and the feather tail of our puppers grow as big as they possibly can be. So I think, I think everybody could live happily in here, but that also, oh goose, you're already ready to puppy. What a tough, rough little pup you are. Let's make sure you eat plenty of fortune cookies first. There you go. All right. Hopefully that, that will help your little wings grow. You are very small. But we do need to work on trying to get lots and lots of pups in the aviary since we're discovering with the dramatic and tragic loss of our three-eyed dog, Macaroon, that we do indeed want to try to have a genetic line that kind of is quote-unquote like a pure line of a certain gene we're trying to obtain. So that being said, Pavo, Pavo, my dear. Actually, because I've been letting Pavo eat other things, I think I'm gonna leave Pavo and Sephiroth out here, but we are gonna try to get some puppies from, oh, put away back room, from them today. Uh, oh, and then also let's get Froglet out. And I want to set a few more dogs, like, kind of just roaming free, because while it's fun... <gasps> Froglet! You got so green! Oh my gosh, and now he's got his little green spotsies. You guys, I love Froglet. There is just something about him that just makes my heart be like, oh my gosh, let me protect you forever, tiny one. But his glossiness has gone up. Nothing else too tremendously different, but I, I love that he had a whole color change and is just going and leaning in hard on the whole frog thing. So let's clean this up. But I do want to set a few of our like really weird dogs kind of just free to roam. So let me check out some of the latest new ones. That guy was definitely weird. <gasps> the squirrel tail! Yes, we need to set this little squirrely tailed one free. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and incubate that one. And then let's try to get Sephiroth. Oh, well, let's hatch Goose for sure. Clean this up. Goose! Goose! Oh my gosh, Goose just completely changed colors on us. 
<laughs> that was just a random mutation. That's amazing! So Goose did indeed change colors. Wing size went up significantly by 7%. Doesn't look like much when you're this small, but that can add up over the generations. I'm just saying. Snout length went down, ear length went up. Good, good, good. No, 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 Goose! Oh, okay, hopefully that gene will disappear. Oh good, they listened! Okay, so we're gonna we're actually gonna get rid of even the puppy teeth because I want to try to really focus these guys on fortune cookies because the fortune cookies will give them short snout, big wings. And I also want to focus these guys on something for big tail. So we're going to have to be digging around for a big tail in a little bit here. All right, meanwhile, Celery the seventh. <gasps> now that Celery is an adult, we should actually have Sephiroth and Celery have some puppies because that's where the real money is at getting these wings like properly isolated so back leg stance has just dramatically dropped wing size went up by almost 10 percent yes these wings have grown so much since celery hatched you guys we have done a good job on that and then the nose and the leg gloss also the patterning and the color oh beautiful Celery the seventh. Oh, long live your family name. Oh, I guess I should also make sure we don't have these dirt clumps because those don't have anything to do with the work that we're trying to do. Good job, Celery. Okay, so yeah, actually, Sephiroth and Celery having a puppy to get those wings dialed in is probably the most important thing we could do right now. So onwards, yes. Give me my winged dogs! Behold, it is my winged dogs. <laughs> this is exactly what I wanted. <gasps> Look at those! Oh, I didn't realize you can make the colors of the wings so different. Like really until now, oh, those wings are actually different. They're kind of more like dragony feather wings. And these are more like, oh, these are more like wings that sort of look like layered feathers. Ooh, I love this so much. This is gonna be so exciting. All right, so which dogs do I want to breed? And then this one has like the angelish wings. So we actually have a whole bunch of variation to the wings right now. I wonder how many wings you can have. Is it just two? Because it would be really exciting if you could have more than that. Oh, that's a good flyer. All right, maybe I should just go ahead and pick one of these guys with like confidence. But let me see. I kind of want to see if we can pick some of the ones with like the biggest wings and breed them. And this guy seems to have huge wings. Oh, look at that. Okay, all of the tails are the normal dog tail, but we've got huge wings on this guy. That's excellent. That's really what we want to see. Oh yeah, look at those gigantic wings. That's fantastic. Oh, look at those tiny little spindle front legs. Oh my gosh. Is this one? Oh no, it's not missing a front left leg. Always on the lookout for that achievement of missing a front left leg. Okay, I think... All right, we'll crossbreed one more time. Just because I would like to have dogs that look a little different than their parents, but I'm not going to forget that the point right now is to just make sure we always have those wings as backup. All right, I think we have some pretty good big wings. So I'm gonna pick this one because it's also a fair sized tail. Decent front legs. Excellent. Yes! So now we have acquired the wings! That is very important if we are going to be able to keep the line going. And I actually feel like this one might be able to grow up to being one of our celeries. So let's pop them in here. There we go. That one seems like a pretty clear, clear winner. And then we have our little squirrel! So we're actually going to go ahead. Hang on, I have a very special Fiona. We're actually gonna name this little one, Fiona, after one of my all-time favorite characters in The Wandering Inn, which is one of my all-time favorite web novel series that I absolutely adore. And she is actually a squirrel assassin. So I think that, like, and her name is Three-Eyed Striker too, which is really funny. That's her assassin name. So we have three heads and we have a squirrel tail. So it's perfect. And this is going to be Fiona. So welcome little puppy Fiona. So heckin' cute. I hope you do fun things with that squirrel tail. I would love to have a bunch of little squirrel puppies running around too. All right. And then knowing that we have 
the wings kind of unlock for another puppy. Let's go ahead and get a little fancy now, because now I want to take Pavo's big, beautiful peacock tail, and I really want to combine it with the wings. So who seems to have the bigger wings, Celery or Sephra? I think it's Celery. So let's bring Celery and Pavo together, and let's go ahead and see how big can we get my bird dog? Is this the moment? Okay, okay, there's no wings. Okay, don't panic, don't panic, don't panic. There's no wings and there's no no bird tail. Okay, don't panic. That doesn't mean our plans are ruined forever. I'm sure it's gonna pop out any second now. <gasps> oh, that's such a tiny tail. That's kind of the opposite of what we're going for, but I've never, oh, the wings. Okay, okay. This tail, I've never seen this tail before, and I think that that is so extremely ironic that at the moment when we are trying to combine, <gasps> yes, this tail right over here, with these wings right over here, we get no tail. That's ridiculously cute. Or, well, there is a tail there, but we get like a, a slinky tiny little tail. Stick tail. Okay, okay, bird dog, bird dog, bird dog, bird dog. Okay, oh. We ended up with like the different wings that are not the wings I was going for and the different tail that was not the tail I was going for, but I'm not gonna give up. Let's see, let's go. The dragonfly wings seem to lead to the bird wings. So we're gonna go with those. All right, come on, come on. There we go, okay, <gasps> okay, okay, okay. Once again, so now we have the fancy tail that we're going for. And now we have some wings again. So let's go with two fancy tailed, feather tailed dogs. And the various, <gasps> we've got it! You guys, no, never mind. that was dragonfly. No, 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 I knew we got it. I knew we got it. We've got it. My bird dog, my bird dog right here with big wings and the feather tail. Oh my gosh, and we have another bird dog right over here. Yes, okay. Oh, should I risk that? No, I'm not gonna risk that. Are you kidding me? We have, we have come too far to try to get these bird dogs. Okay, this one seems to be standing a little bit better on its legs, maybe? They're, they're actually both kind of tangled. <gasps> you guys, our bird dog, our bird dog. Now, we just need to make it have multiple peacock tails and carry on those beautiful feather wings and we will have my bird dog dreams come true. I... I'm so happy right now. There are no guarantees with these jeans as we mix and match them. But I, I'm just, I'm so bliss. Just, just bliss. That's all I feel right now is bliss. It's gonna happen. Yay! All right, we're gonna go ahead and hatch this little one. Who personally, I think might make a good celery the eighth, but celery the seventh, like literally just showed up on the scene. Um, however, like, I feel like this is just a good celery of the eighth, because why not? So we have little celery of the eighth, and then we are going to hatch the first of the bird dogs. Look at this. Look at this. I am so happy right now. I am so happy. Yes, actually, this could be this could be a celery, but I feel like I need to name this little one Paradise. After the birds of Paradise. Because we finally have my bird dog dreams. And we're gonna need to get a couple more of those, smush them together a few times, and then we can try to get different colors. But for the first time ever, I finally have a set of jeans that I want to really always truly, to the core of my heart, make sure we don't lose. Feathered tail, hopefully multiple feathered tails, feathered wings. Because I have dreams of birds of paradise. I'm so happy. This is a joyous occasion. <laughs> All right, my friends. Well, this is very exciting. And Paradise immediately goes over to grab Goose's goose. Do not shake Goose. Let's bring you over here. And let's make sure these puppies have everything that they are going to need to grow up to be big and strong with glorious wings. So, oh, Goose is so angry. I would be angry too, Goose. Somebody just bit you. That's rude. That's very rude. I didn't teach them that. They, they just hatched with those manners. It's not my fault. Uh, but let's come over and we're going to grab... Actually, what do we need for a big tail? Let's double check. I think big tail is this one. Yep. 
So you can get pancakes for a big tail or you could get the garlic bread. I think garlic bread is probably our best bet. But I think wings, like big wings, is also like one of the most important things we could add in. So garlic bread, big nose, big tail. If that's the price we must pay, so be it. We're just gonna fill this place with garlic bread. This is probably a very stinky area to, to be part of. I won't lie. But I think all of these things combined, it should be excellent. And actually, now that I think about it, I really want Fiona, no, I really want Fiona to have a big tail. So I think we're gonna go ahead and we're going to spread the, the joys of the garlic bread into here as well. I'm actually gonna clean up all of the puddles and food and stuff. Um, and then I'm going to come out and we're going to put in some garlic bread for Fiona. <laughs> I don't know if she'll stay in here, but I think trying to encourage that huge squirrel tail is definitely on my list of things that I want to do. Oh, this is so exciting. All right, very clearly, we're gonna need to make sure we have a backup for our backup with these dogs. And Paradise is going to need to get a sibling. I would love to make them a different color as time goes on, but maybe we can get lucky with that. So we'll experiment and see if we can manage to pull off another bird of paradise next time. So all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me on this very exciting adventure. I'm really looking forward to seeing these puppies grow up and hopefully fly. And if you'd like to join us on this and literally thousands more, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, Stay curious, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.